Welcome to the new topic on databases. Um, you should have hopefully by now downloaded a DB browser for SQLite. Um, this is the main program that you're going to use to actually do databases on your computer. Now this is available on Windows and for Mac OS. Now the other thing that we'll be looking at today is how to complete the project com and hand it in. Okay, so the first thing I need to do is of course go and check out the work that I've been assigned. Now you can see here that I've been given a new assignment. So this is just a, um, a pretend student. So I'm going to open the assignment here. So you can see that I got an email link for that. I can then delete that email and delete some of these other ones if I don't need them. And when I go to Google uh, Classroom, it goes straight, when I clicked on it from my email, it goes straight into this piece of work. So here you will get uh, the title of the bit of work that's to be done. It shows you what kind of marks, if the teacher wants to give you a mark for it. And then the instructions. So here you can see I've just got an instruction, a, a website link, which is to the website where the work is and an instruction to do it all okay but you'll probably get more instructions of course to give you a bit more information on how to do things um, here then on the right is how you sign um, hand in the work so here i can add or create a file and after you've uploaded one you can upload another as well so you can you can upload several files and then you mark as been done and then down here you can send a private message to me but just be aware that I might only be available during our timetable lesson time to answer messages. But if you do answer a message, I will get back to you at some point. Okay, so um, I'm just going to go back to um, my database for now. And this is what we're going to work on. I'm going to just minimize that. Now, the first thing we need to do is um, go to the website, actually. Sorry. Go to this website. Right, so from here, I just clicked on the link and it's brought up my, the school website. And here you've got the first exercise, which is this one here. So if you click on this uh, pop out, we get a new window. And this is telling us everything that we need to do in this exercise. Okay, now I'm going to have this on a separate window. So I'm just going to pull this out and I'm just going to do this on another. I've got another screen that I can use for that to watch this. Okay. And the other thing that you will need is the file. You'll need to download this file to be able to do this too. Okay. So I'm just going to click on it. Right. So whenever you click on it, it opens up like this and it gives you the option to open it up in Google Sheets. We don't want to do that. What we want to do is just download it. So here on the top right, you can see you've got various options. You can add it to your Google Drive, uh, print or download. And then over here, you've got more actions to like share it and things like this. So I'm just going to press download. And that goes into your downloads folder. So it's coming up asking me to allow this. Yep. And that goes into my downloads folder. So I can close this for now. And I'm looking at this database exercise sheet here okay so for the moment i'm just going to go and minimize this now and go to my uh, explorer window and go to downloads and i've got several downloads in here but you can see one of them is this csv file now you can choose to put it wherever you want on your computer so i'm going to just drag it for the moment to my desktop you may have somewhere in documents that you like to keep your stuff um, organized on your computer. Okay, so there's this CSV file right here. So the first thing on the question sheet, this database exercise 01, it says using a suitable database package, import the file jxiicars.csv um, and assign these data types. Now, in terms of the data types, so I'm just looking at this right here, you can see. In terms of the data types, because we're using um, SQL Lite, 
it does not support currency so we won't be able to do this one but we can do it as numeric and then the boolean that will not come in as a yes or no so you can see here we've got yes and no's and things like that here so we will it'll come in as a minus one and a zero so like um, like binary almost okay so the first thing I need to do is create a new database so we'll press here to create a new database give it a name so I'm just going to give it the same name as we have of the file here and I'm just going to put it on my desktop and save that so you can see this has created this file here so now I've got two files uh, JX um, one one or JXII cars um, dot DB and I've got JXII cars dot CSV okay so that's the first thing now it'll automatically come up asking do we want to create tables now of course we do want to create a table but what we want to do is import this file which actually has the names of the each field but we can do it like this as well but I'm just going to press the close to cancel that and instead I'm going to go up to my menu and import table from CSV file okay so there we go and then go to my where the location where it is so here it is here and press open okay so the first thing that you'll see that comes up is that it says the name of the table which you can leave it like that that's just fine doesn't matter if it's that that's the name and here it says column name in first line well you can see there it is the column names are in the first line so you need to take that and then the field separator you need to make sure it is on a comma but if it doesn't separate like this so if I do that you see it's all gone together so just make sure if it if, if you are if your computer is slightly different in terms of the way it's set up you might have to do um, something else with this so if you do have a problem um, just let me know on a private message but I think it should be fine if you do a comma so you just send commas and separate like that and then here under advanced you should just make sure none of these are ticked because here it says disable data type detection we don't want to do that we want it to detect the data type of our information okay so you will notice that it's only going to show us about 19 fields out of the as a preview but there's more okay there's a lot more fields so I'm going to press OK says import complete and it's actually created this extra uh, file over here All right so this DB journal you don't necessarily need that so you could delete it and then what we've got now is our table structure so you can see it over here and you can also see it down here on the right now if you can't see one of these windows let's say that one's closed for example you can go to view and you can put that one back on so you can see pretty much under the view all of them are on and I've just put the edit one back on again so you can turn them off and you can turn them on okay so we're not going to actually need this one for the moment so I am going to leave it off and here you can see I've got the same kind of view for this all right so this is the database structure or DB schema and uh, you can see now the different data types so what you need to do is just check these data types so VIN there's text most of them are going to be text the price is an integer okay so we do need it to be a numeric data type so this is a numeric data type as an integer as you can see and it's detected that but it hasn't put any decimal points on it so it would, hasn't changed it to any different type like real as you can see here you should be familiar if you've done there are Python um, exercises you you will be familiar with some of these data types so text is the same as string as such um, integer whole number real for our discount applied is a decimal point number and then we got sold at the bottom is is this one here and it's putting it in as an integer but this is the boolean one okay now we can't change these data types okay because SQL Lite, which is this one that's called SQL Lite, is limited to 
specific data types and there only is a few that we can choose from. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is then look at adding information to this. So if you go to um, edit, I'm sorry, browse data, you can pick here the different tables. Now we've only got one table and you can see all of the information here. So you can go down here, you've got these navigation buttons and you can flick between the different pages of it. It shows you roughly about uh, 15 at the moment and then you can click to the end and then click to the front, okay? Now the next bit of this exercise, it says, um, save a screenshot showing the field names and the data types used. So that is what you need to do here. Now, if you're using Windows, you need to use Imprimir Pantalla. If you're using a MacBook, you need to do Control, Shift and 3 or Control, Shift and 4. So what you can actually do on a MacBook, if I do Control, Shift and 4, I can actually select just a specific area. And if I do Control, Shift and 3, it takes a picture of the whole screen. Okay, so you can see it's, it's done that. I'm just going to delete those again. So you can see this here. If I've got it like this, I can do Control, Shift and 4. And I can just select this area to, to prove that that's that one done. So it's come up down to the bottom here. It'll either come up like this or it'll just save onto your desktop usually. And that's the screenshot. So I'm going to just press done and that is over here. So now we're starting to create evidence that we need for this work. So the best way to do this would be that in here, I'm going to just go straight to, now there's different ways of doing this. You could go here and say Google Docs, or I'm just going to go to Add Create and press Doc like this. Now this Google Doc, it's going to be available for me to look at as well, of course, because you're adding it onto here. So once you've created it, you can click on it. And then you can start editing at it at your, at your, own, at your own pace. So, okay, so I'm just going to turn this on. All right, so this document's uh, ready for me to use. So the first thing I want to do, okay, it's given it a name here. So I'm going to just change that name to exercise 01. And then the first thing I want to do is get a, um, a screenshot, that screenshot. So I can either insert image from your computer. There's that screenshot there. There it is, paste it in, right? So that's the very first thing that I need to do. So it said here, make sure, save a screenshot showing the field names and data types used. Place a copy of this screenshot in your evidence file. So this is my evidence file, okay? So exercise, I'm just gonna then, oops, took that out. Maybe write this first, exercise one, evidence file, and then just do that again. Upload the image. There we have it. Okay, right. So it's in. All right. So that's the first one. All right. Now I'm going to just minimize that for now. And the next thing I need to do is in for insert the following three records. And then check your data for data entry, and then save the data. It says, right. So over here under browse data you've got the option for new record. So if I press on um, new record, it comes up at the very bottom and I just need to then enter these in. So what's nice about this is that you will get this kind of thing coming up. So you could, if you type three, seven, just pick one of these and then just make sure you're putting the right number. So it was, 3018 was on the end of that one. Just check that number is correct. Yep. And then here, 
micro Z T um, engine size was 1,200, 1.2, the price 11,000, scroll across, color, oops, color is red, um, discount applied, no, so that would just be a zero then, put that in there, so that's a zero, sorry. Um, location, Madrid, uh, date sold, so date sold is null, salesperson, no, and then sold is no, so that's going to be a zero, so this is our, our um, no is zero, and if I scroll up far enough, you'll start to see minus ones, and that means that they have been sold. So you can see what happens when you get to the here. Um, I've got the date sold and then it has been sold. So this is an indication it's been sold. And then here's the person who sold it. And that's the date when it's sold. So all the ones that have zeros won't have these two columns filled in. So these extra cars that we're adding in just won't have that. So you need to then just do uh, the next one. 377. C and just add that one and put 19 and continue doing that okay and get those three new records added in to that okay afterwards it says just to check the data that you've entered and then save that data 